Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays B110031? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does B110031 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Toyota, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code B110031 interpret specifically for Toyota car manufacturers? The basic definition is Class 2 Communication Malfunction And now this is a short description of this DTC code. Modules connected to the Class 2 circuit monitor for serial data communications during normal vehicle operation operating information and commands are exchanged among the modules when a module receives a message for a critical operating parameter, the module records the identification number of the module that sent the message these node alive messages are used for state of health monitoring a critical operating parameter is one which, when not received, requires that the module use a default value value for that parameter when a module does not associate an identification number with at least one critical parameter within 5 seconds of starting data communication, DTC U1000 or U1255 is set when more than one critical parameter does not have an identification number associated with it, the code will only set once. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Class 2 circuit is open, shorted to ground or shorted to power ECM ignition power circuits has a high resistance condition ECM main ground circuits has a high resistance condition SDM module could be shorted pulling the voltage low no signal this subtype is used for failures where the control module does not detect a signal which ought to be present e.g., wheel speed signals present for three of the four wheels and brakes not applied. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.